Tapos, nakakatawa kasi, naghihintay ako para sa pizza ko, tapos umiiyak ako. <laughs> Opportunities for us to enjoy Zana together, especially yung mga gantong season. Those are things that make Christmas hard for me these days. If these things did not happen, then we would be in that stage and we would enjoy the Christmas season like that. We would be um, in beyond. Hey guys, it's Jez and we are only a few days away from Christmas and a few days away from New Year. Okay, so I want to start off with how I loved Christmas as a young girl. I have always looked forward to Christmas as a kid, as a teenager. Kasi ang dami-dami kong memories na masaya with the family. So sure, I hear about all of the stats about anxiety, about depression, and how antaas ng rates nila, especially in the holiday season. Pero yung Christmas ko kasi have generally been okay. So I've never truly understood how Christmas can be so brutal for those who are grieving, for those who are in pain, until I've had my own difficult Christmases. Different reasons eh, why Christmas could be hard. It could be hard because it's such a busy time and nab burn out ka talaga. And then there are those who are afraid, maybe fearful about health, fearful about finances. This is a culture natin. Agastos lang talaga magpasko tiba. So, may financial pressure yung Christmas. And then there are those who are away from their loved ones. So they feel lonely. Could be missing a loved one. Whether they may conflict sa family. There are those who are hurting. Um, there are those who are grieving. Grieving the loss of someone. The loss of a relationship. Gini grieve yun eh. The death of a relationship. The death of a dream. For some moms like me, we grieve the disability of our children. And then there are some of us who are frustrated with a lot of things na nangyayari na hindi isang ayon sa gusto sana natin. Honestly, the past few days have been medyo heavy for me. It all started when I was at the mall the other day. When I was in the mall, I was seeing a lot of moms, a lot of parents na kasama nila yung mga babies nila, mga toddlers nila. So, merong mga babies talaga na mga infant na sa stroller. Meron din mga babies na Siguro toddler and just learning to walk, na hawak-hawak nila ang family. And that really just made me remember of David. Hindi ko siya kasama when I went there. Kasi honestly, mahirap talaga siyang isama sa labas. We'd have to carry him all the time. So that made me think na parang if HIA didn't happen, then we would be at that stage also. Kasi David is already three, di ba? So malikot na yan supposedly, lakad na ng lakad. <laughs> and... Um, seeing parents and children lalakad sila, pick up na mga toys, binabawal, and all that. Na naisip ko na if these things did not happen to David, then we would be um, in the, beyond. Then we would be in that stage and we would enjoy the Christmas season like that. Bakit ako na stairs? There was a mom there who was telling the girl na, siguro three years old, yung baby or four, na para, okay, so mommy will first do shopping and then we'll buy your toy. Di ba sabi lang? And I can just imagine na that could have been us. Yeah. And then from the mall, I went to SNR to buy some groceries and mga giveaways. And I saw a kid na tinutulungan siya ng mami niyang maglakad. Obviously, um, medyo shaky pa the walking of the of the child. So, hinahawakan siya. And then, inaalis na yung kamay ng mami niya. Natawa ko! Mag-isa ko na, na natatawa ko sa kanya kasi parang, mmm, feisty. <laughs> diba? That girl. Tapos, nakakatawa kasi naghihintay ako para sa pizza ko. Tapos, umiiyak ako. <laughs> Niyak ako kasi kasi I was thinking ano kaya yung personality ni David if he is not limited um with his motor skills intellectually so, so I I really just wondered what would have been of his personality kung bakulit din pa siya ganun, or feisty din or um independent din ayaw ba magpatulong ganun so those are things that make Christmas hard for me these days. Parang his disability has stolen a lot of opportunities for us to enjoy Zana together, especially yung mga gantong season yun. Ay, ano ba yan? Oh my God, wait lang.
Anyway, okay, mas okay na ako. What I'm trying to say is that festivities sometimes become a reminder of just that, that it hurts for some of us. Paano naman tayo magsa-celebrate ng the most wonderful time of the year when we're attending a broken heart, di ba? Because when you watch all these Christmas specials, when you see everyone around during the Christmas time, parang there's so much togetherness. There's so much optimism, smiles, happiness, sobrang saya lang, sobrang makinang, picture perfect. Parang may social pressure din na we're supposed to be super merry, super jolly during Christmas time. Pero yun nga eh, nahahighlight lang yung kalungkutan ng madami. And there are more people dealing with grief and loneliness this Christmas season than you could ever imagine. Most mental health practitioners would say it's okay to be not okay this Christmas, but we are to honor our losses, to acknowledge your pain and I agree and if I may I'll just add na rin na if like me in the past Christmases mas marami yung luha kaysa tuwa <laughs> uy that rhymed <laughs> two things number one it gets better it will not always feel like this even if it doesn't feel like it parang forever na tong ganito na it gets better but second is if your heart is tired if your heart is hurting if your heart is grieving on your Christmas time my encouragement is sana yung ganong pakiramdam natin will actually point us to the wonder of Christmas na this is exactly why Christ came this is exactly why He came for us on that day that we celebrate during Christmas whatever the exact date is even if this holidays parang na-highlight our sadness, our loneliness, our pains, our brokenness, pwede natin siyang i-maximize eh. Na while na ma-magnify, na-highlight all of our difficulties, lalo ring ma-magnify, ma-highlight that this is exactly why Christ came. To bring light to our darkness. To save us from our brokenness. To save us from our loneliness. From our chaos. Kumbaga, yung darkness natin, yung brokenness natin na feel and highlight, especially this Christmas season, pwede niya ipakita sa atin exactly why we needed a savior, a redeemer to come for us. Oh, yung loneliness ko, yung grief that I experience, it actually is pointing me to the truth that that's exactly why I need an Emmanuel, a God who is with me, a God who will not only look at me, a God who will not only encourage me from afar, but a God who is with me. And that is worth celebrating. So if wala kang masyadong makitang reasons for celebrating, then let those reasons be your reason for celebration. So ako, halimbawa, my son's broken body is one of the reasons why my Christmas is hard, is difficult. Then I will let the pain tell me that that is exactly why I need a God who gives hope. Why I need a God who will make all things new one day. A God who would come for me to save me and to give me that hope. Okay, so let me suggest some practical things to do to apply when Christmas is hard. One is, it's okay to be sad. Okay lang yun. Don't feel guilty if you're sad. Hindi ka KJ, hindi ka yung Grinch. You're grieving. So allow yourself to feel your emotions. If, like me, you prefer to somehow put up a brave face for others, it's okay to do that. But don't lose accountability sa mga tao, sa ibang tao. And also give yourself enough time alone to help you process help you heal, to help you deal with your feelings. Number two is, sana magawa niyo to. Kumain ka ng healthy na pagkain. Because, di ba, kulang ka nga sa liquids lang or hindi healthy yung mga pagkain mo. That can already negatively impact your mood, your emotions, di ba, your brain. Mahalaga naman to all year round, pero especially this Christmas season lang na napakaraming hindi healthy food sa paligid. Because I know if I don't eat healthy, then that would negatively affect the chemicals in my brain as well, my mood, inflame yung brain ko. So, mahaba explanation na yun. Anyway, <laughs> just eat healthy food, okay? Ang lamig na dito, guys. Sinisip ko na ako. Tapos na natin itong vlog. And then, number three is to balance your time alone and with others. So, I know there's like a tendency to be on the extremes na puro mag-isa ka lang, i-isolate mo lang yung sarili mo or puro nasa labas ka lang, nililibang may sarili mo, etc. I mean, that's not bad, pero there has to be a balance. And fourth, Last tip is to lower your expectations of the Christmas day. I know, especially, parang na-build up siya na September pala, lumalabas sa si Jose Marichan, parang may high expectation that Christmas day is a magical day that would wipe away all our tears. So joyful, so fun. I mean, sure, the spiritual side is clear yon. Pero I mean, yung just the day itself, yung December 25, na parang pagkigising mo, perfect yun ang gamala. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna be disappointed and we're gonna feel empty if we have so much expectation of the day itself. Paano ko ba tatapusin ang vlog na to? 
you know, meron akong isang kantang gusto. Sampot, sampot. <laughs> Sabi ng kanta, Ngunit kahit na anong mangyari, sapat ng si Jesus ang kasama mo. Gusto ko yun. Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Kahit na anong mangyari, Christ came. Tuloy na tuloy na tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Merry Christmas everyone! Hope you have a good one! Love you all!